I asked some time ago to guess what these seeds are. Nobody could guess. It's the strangest thing because we use it on a daily basis. At Vibrant Living, we use it every day and I'm sure most of you use it. A lot of people guessed it as coriander seeds, they guessed fennel, they guessed uh, chenna, lots of different things, but nobody really guessed what it is. I do found out only a year ago, even though I've been using it for so many years. This, it's very strange that we don't know how our food looks like before it comes to our kitchens. You want to see what these are? Let's check it out. Any guesses? Check out what came out of this. A secret is revealed. It is flax seeds. Look at these, how exciting. You probably need more than this bunch to get one teaspoon of flax seeds but how rewarding it is to grow. But can you imagine how much hard work goes in to get one tablespoon of, or one a kilo of flax seeds to your table? It is a lot of work and I know it because we are growing it on our farm and that's where I got it from the past weekend's trip. Flax seeds are fantastic for you and we should grow them and we should eat them regularly because they're loaded with lots of nutrients that we don't usually get like essential fatty acids of omega-3 that only comes if you actually consume your body does not make it so flax seeds are relatively reasonably priced and they are magical if you have high cholesterol have flax seeds, a tablespoon of flax seeds grounded up into a little powder, mix it in water and drink it every day and check out your levels in a month. You are, you'll be surprised. You can also use it in smoothies, you can use it in so many different ways. You can use it in your idli powder, etc. Constipation anyone? This helps fantastically. A lot of fiber, so make sure to drink enough water throughout the day. Flax seeds may even help in maintaining your ideal weight and of course, like a lot of plant-based foods, it helps prevent cancer. We have a tendency to overdo on things that are good for you. So do not overeat on flax seeds. You want to eat in moderation. One teaspoon to one tablespoon is more than what you need. And when you grind it, make sure to keep it in a cool place in the freezer actually. You want to grind it before having it because otherwise it will just go through your system and your oils, the omega oils will not get absorbed. So you want to chew it thoroughly or you actually powder it and have it. If you think that powdering small amount is difficult, you use your coffee grinder, powder it for four days at a time and put it in your refrigerator and use it up in a short time. At Vibrant Living, we use flax seeds on a regular basis. We have lots of smoothies, of course, our flaxseed crackers. Those of you, that's the main reason why I developed flaxseed crackers is flax seeds are so, so amazing to have for health, but we tend to forget to have or just don't have it after a certain time because of boredom. To just drink the same thing is a little difficult. For that reason, I curated flaxseed crackers. We have a few different kinds of flaxseed crackers, one with the sun-dried tomatoes, another with sesame seeds, there's awesome stuff. So try them and you can also make many things at home including your idli powders and you can sprinkle it on your curries etc. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something and share with those who will enjoy. Namaste.